open this. Yep. <clears throat> Alrighty. Today we're gonna go through and play some of this new game, Quantum Break. I decided to do a new game so that you now you can see the intro. Number one killer is time. time. Uh -huh. It destroys Tabby us cat. all. This is what you need to know. Time broke. A growing fracture leading to the end of time. We went after a device that could fix it. Things turned ugly. Paul Stream was there to stop us. He has superpowers. Jack. Him and me both. We failed. Jack. And of course, time travel was involved. Jack. <clears throat> Going too fast for you? Look at his eyes. Okay. What do you want to cover first? You tell me. Let's start at the beginning. When you first arrived at Riverport University. I came back home to see my best friend, Paul Serene. He wanted to show me what he'd been working on. My brother, Will, was a scientist. He was also involved. Paul said it was world-changing. He was right. Riverport University. Here we are. Hey, thanks for the ride. No problem. <clears throat> You'd been away for six years. Right. Paul and I had kept in touch, but, well, not so much. How did it make you feel? I was just happy to see Paul. Good morning. Yeah. Hello. Okay. And now I'm supposed to be going the other way, but I figure, like all games, they had collectibles. So we're gonna go pick out that end. Oh, there's a car. I guess I should go find Paul. <laughs> I guess we should. Oh, here, here we go. Hmm. Paul told me to meet him at the physics building. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Rough night, huh? Oh, it's for... Um, I, it's just whatever doesn't even matter anymore. Hey, where'd that guy go? Um, yeah. I doubt he's out here. We better head into the campus. That uh, that one guy. Where did he go? Oh, my controller's oh, okay. Whoa. Jack, you just got to the campus. Where are you? God, it's good to hear your voice. Uh, when you hit the courtyard, look right. You'll see this fancy modern physics building with the lights on. I'll meet you inside there. I am so looking forward to this, man. You still haven't told me what this is. I know. See you soon. Why 4 a.m.? Why not wait till morning? Paul had always been a showman. <laughs> Some protest. Okay. There's that one. Oh, hey, look at you guys. Do you know where the physics building is? You mean the big ass metallic turtle behind me? Hard to miss, man. 
<laughs> Thanks. Um, no, this is a non-alcoholic event. Yet, there's two chunks, but okay. Guest seminar. Oh, I guess there's not something there. Oh, here we go. Here's the guy. Yeah, I don't really care. The protests seem like a lost cause. Maybe sympathize with the students. Hello. If you're with that fraternity, you've done enough damage. We're being shut down. <laughs> hey, I come in peace. I'm just meeting a friend nearby. At 4 a.m. He's coming to see Rogue. Well, we're Get it. spreading awareness about Monarch Solutions, so Rogue. if you want to know how badly they're giving us the shaft, <laughs> then you can just ask me. All right, what's going on here? Okay. How would you feel if you knew a corporate monopoly was taking a massive dump all over your personal history? Uh, that's quite an opener. Good. Because that beautiful library over there is over a hundred years old. It's part of the city's heritage. And Monarch Solutions plans to tear it down tomorrow. Do you want to know why? We've got a chart with all the details. Why? Why? I have to restart. Go ahead, check out the chart. Oh, oh, sorry, I wasn't. Monarchs took um, down the library to build another research facility. If for what? I bet you're gonna tell me. Hmm, to push their corporate agenda. I mean, look at those numbers. They're slowly taking over the city, and everybody's completely blind to it. Oh, it doesn't look good. Hey, I gotta meet my friend, but you keep fighting this, okay? All right. Enjoy your booty call. Oh. <laughs> Not exactly. Okay. Um. Paul had always been hungry for success. Driven. He made it onto a lot of those top young professionals lists. And now he was coordinating some huge project at the university. It's a big deal for him. Hey, protests over. At home. Not why I'm here, Chief. Mr. That safety whistle. Prick. The Amber. Where's your uniform? Excuse me. Come on. I've been in shit enough to smell at security. You sure this is somewhere that you want to be sniffing around? Was that supposed to be a threat? Because that's adorable. Just walk away. Never. Liam Burke. A monarch security officer. Our first meeting was cordial compared to him introducing a rifle butt to my head later on. Oh. Well, spoilers, guys. Gosh. Thanks a lot. Um, I just really don't care too much to read all these. Hmm. Not exactly modest, are we, Paul? Okay. You made a long trip oh. just to see a research project. I was removed from my own party, guys. Between the lines, Paul was under a lot of pressure. He needed a friend. I wanted to help him any way I could. Son of a bitch. Jack Joyce. <clears throat> In the flesh. The esteemed Mr. Paul Serene. I'm shaking money bags. Shut up and bring it in. Welcome home. Six years. Now we're starting to think you'd never come back. Yeah, me too. Come on. This way. We're going upstairs to the project lab. How was the flight? First class. Thank you for that. It's a step up from our van trip to Utah. I miss that van. 
I'm guessing Will's not meeting us. He doesn't know we're here. I knew Paul had asked my brother Will to consult on his project. Will was all the family I had, but he was difficult. It's quite the facility you got here. What can I say? I have a knack of milking money out of wealthy investors. In here, Jack. Going I'm coming. Up. I'm coming. I need to find six more things, guys. Six things. There's more to this than you're letting on. Is it about my brother? I still worry about him, huh? If Will did something wrong, then... Jack, man. Look, I've been tight-lifted about this for a reason. This project we've been working on is going to change the entire world. Uh, why do I smell one of your long-winded presentations on the horizon? I would never. Oh, look. <laughs> a perfectly placed presentation to illustrate the project. Now, who put that there? <laughs> oh, shocking. Okay. Enough joking. The lab's this way, Jack. Come on. All right. We'll get to your lab. I want to see your presentation. I know you love this stuff. Come on, man. Dazzle me. Well, if you insist. Progress. Our primary drive as a species. Over time, we have cured life-threatening illnesses. Explore the world. Oh, good. Going into marketing spiel mode. Don't ruin my flow. But there is one element which denies us true progress. Time itself. Now, I'm not a scientist, but here's how it's been explained to me. We've known that, in theory, a... Rotating black hole creates a deformation in space-time, potentially allowing travel through both space and time. Years ago, William Joyce, your brother, posited the existence of chronon particles, now known as Meyer-Joyce particles, which fill an all-encompassing field, enabling the constant and steady progression of time. Here at Project Promenade, we have combined both these theories to discover a way to manipulate that field. And the results are staggering. There's more, but that's enough of a primer for now. Okay. Well, let's uh, get up. All right. Let's do this. Yeah. Let's do this. So this is about quantum physics. Paul, you know my brother spent years stuck down that rabbit hole. Is that why you brought Will on as a consultant? When Dr. Kim passed away, your brother was the obvious choice to bring in to replace him. I guess there's no collectibles over here. Okay. We'll go in here. Hey. Welcome to Project Promenade. Whoa. Alright. Oh. Oh shit. You guys must have some budget. <laughs> what is all this? The future, Jack. You are looking at the biggest discovery of our time. It's impressive, but Will's the scientist. What do you need me for? There's a reason we're doing this at 4 a.m., Jack. I need someone I can trust. I need you to help me convince Will. Yeah, oh. I had a hunch. When your brother found out the scope of what we were building here, he... <laughs> well, you know Will. Yeah. Hang on, I gotta get something from my desk. Will overreacted. Scared off the investors, ranting about miscalculations, 